What is going on, everybody? This is Garrett Tears to Joy Ministries.org. This video is called Cats Are So Amazing. Yes, they are. Do you know when I'm outside and I see a cat? I cannot help but think of God. I can't help it. When I see a cat, I just give God so much praise, so much glory, so much honor. When I see cats, I see one of Jesus' most incredible creations as far as the animal kingdom or birds, or fish, or mammals, or insects. When I see a cat, I just feel so good inside. You see, God programmed my DNA to love cats. And I'm happy about it. <laughs> I like this. I like this genetic programming that God did with me because I love cats. And I love to love cats. And I want to love cats. And I thought I would talk about them for a couple minutes and have some fun. Did you know that cats can see in the dark? Can you see in the dark? No. Cats can. And Jesus did that on purpose. And why? Because cats sleep in the day and they have fun at night. Now, that, the word fun means... Maybe they're hunting for food. Maybe they're playing. Maybe they're wrestling. Maybe they're fighting. Maybe they're, do, maybe they're having territorial disputes, disputes. And I'm talking about lions, tigers, cheetahs, but I'm also talking about your house cats. <laughs> Me, even your house cats can have territorial disputes in your house. Isn't it incredible? And they got to be able to see at nighttime to do all of these incredible fun things. But that's not it. Cats have claws. Most of them can climb up trees. If they're in danger, they can climb up a tree. If a dog is chasing them, no big deal. Just go up the tree and the dumb dog is stuck on the bottom barking and barking like a dumb animal. And the cat's up there on top of the tree just laughing at him. Laughing. Pointing his paw down at the dumb cat. You idiot. <laughs> it's so funny. But cats can also climb up trees to find food. Or to do other fun things. Man, cats. Just amazing. But that's not all Jesus has done. Cats have incredible agility. In fact, out of all of the animals I can think of, who has a better agility than cats? Their agility is mind-boggling, and the agility can be used in fighting, hunting, um, killing their prey when they have to eat dinner, the agility can be used for fun, like when they're jumping around your house and climbing up the drapes and jumping off the table and spinning around and chasing things. Cats are incredible. Who else has agility like cats? Not even Bruce Lee could come close to having the agility that cats have. Just incredible. And cats are so smart. When I would play with my cats, they keep their claws tucked in so they don't hurt me. That's how smart they are. A dog can't do that. A dog can't pull his claws in and out whenever he wants to. So I'm playing with my cats and I'm tickling them and rubbing their stomach and doing things to them that they like. And I also do some things that they don't like <laughs> to irritate them. And we're wrestling, and they're wrestling with my hand and my arm, and they know to keep their claws tucked in because they know that I love them, and they love me. 
And they keep their cats, their claws, I'm sorry, they keep their claws tucked in. But in the blink of an eye, when it's time to fight enemies outside, when it's time to go hunting, and when it's time to put the smack down on a dumb dog, they can extend their claws and rain down hell. Cats are amazing. They really are. And, cat, and Jesus designed cats to come in all different sizes. Who is the king of the land in the animal kingdom? A cat. A lion is a male lion. Look at that. The king of the animal kingdom is a cat. And who else is a bad boy out there in the animal kingdom? A male tiger. I have seen reports of one male tiger able to kill 25 hyenas when they were hunting him. When the hyenas were hunting the tiger, in a fight of desperation, in a fight for his life, one male tiger can kill 20 to 25 hyenas in a single fight. Let me see your dog do that. <laughs> let me, let me, here, what, hey, what dog can do that? Can a pit bull do that? Can one wild dog fight 25 hyenas? Of course not. And Jesus designed the cats to be so smart. When a male lion is coming up against a pack of hyenas, you know what the male lion does? He goes and kills the queen hyena only. You see, the pack of hyenas have a leader above them, and it's a female queen. So the lion will run into the pack and bypass all the hyena soldiers, and he'll bypass all of the, the male hyenas, and he goes and kills the female queen really quick, and he just walks real slowly out of there because he is the baddest dude in the animal kingdom. But look at what else the cats do. When you're at your house and a, and a, and a, and a dog comes up to your back door like, like a dog that's off a leash, your cats will be quick to run back to the back door and protect the house and start fighting through the door and putting up their paws and making noises and the dumb dog will run away. <laughs> I'm picking on dogs um, just for fun. Um, Jesus designed dogs also. That might be a video in the future and it might not. Who knows? Now, most of you have heard of MMA fighting, martial arts. Mixed martial arts fighting. It's all over cable TV. It's in Las Vegas. They sell out arenas. They got famous fighters. Check this out. Cats use MMA fighting techniques. But here's the incredible thing. Cats didn't copy it from us. Jesus programmed cats to use MMA fighting techniques thousands of years ago. Now, is that incredible? Have you ever watched your two cats wrestle? Have you watched the martial arts techniques that they use? Have you seen the ground fighting techniques that cats use? How one cat gets on his back, curls up his paws, uses his back legs the same way the MMA fighters do. Then the other cat trying to get down on top of him is getting all curled up, tucks his tail in, puts his ears back so the ears don't get in the way. Can human beings do that? No. Cats can. Cats use very advanced martial arts fighting techniques that Jesus designed them and programmed to use and no one else wants to mess with them. No one. No one. I have seen YouTube videos where small cats 
can actually beat up dogs bigger than them. They can. I've seen it with my own eyes multiple times. Some nights I'm just relaxing, watching videos on cats. And By the way, I'm not talking about vicious fights. No, no, no. I'm not talking about bloody fights where the animals are being hurt. No, no, no. I'm talking about two pets in a house where the dumb dog comes walking around the corner trying to cause some trouble with the beautiful cat. That's the biggest mistake that dog has ever made in his life. I'm telling you right now with no joking around, the fighting techniques that cats use are light years above the way dogs fight. Light years above. Wow. Listen to how smart cats are out in the wild. Lions and tigers and cheetahs, when they're chasing down their prey, they bite the deer, they bite the antelope or whatever in the neck, and they kill them real fast through suffocation. And when the animal's dead, they eat the body. Now listen to what the dumb dogs do. The hyenas, the wild dogs in Africa, India, Romania, United States too, they don't bite their prey in the neck and, and show mercy and grace. They start biting their prey all over the body and they eat the poor animal alive in a excruciating death. Cats have class, they have honor, and they have respect. They respect their prey and they bite them in the, in the neck and suffocate them and give them an honorable death before God, before they eat them. The dumb dogs do the opposite. How sick. You can take a cat and drop them upside down and in mid-air they flip around and land on their feet like Bruce Lee. What would a dog do if you dropped him upside down? Now that would be funny. That would be funny. Cats can hear really, really well. They can smell fantastically. And they have the perfect teeth to bite their prey in the neck and suffocate them. And then they have the other kind of teeth to tear apart um, the fur of an animal and the skin and, and eat their prey. What Jesus did with cats is just mind-boggling. And I love big cats. I love medium-sized cats. I love small cats and house pets. And to wrap up this video, when I think about cats, you have the powerful male lions. That's the animal that Jesus, is, that Jesus uses symbolically to represent himself. He doesn't use a dog. He doesn't, he doesn't use a fish. He uses a male lion. Then you got the tigers, probably the best fighters in the entire animal kingdom. Then you got cheetahs, the fastest animal on the land. He could run 60 to 70 miles an hour. Think about that. Then you got black panthers, all black, with green and blue eyes. What a thing of beauty. Then you got the mountain lion, lions that actually live up in the mountains and the rocks. Are cats incredible? Man, mountain lions, think about that. Then you got the powerful leopards. Jesus has created leopards in all different colors, even snow leopards to live in the snow. Jesus paints them white. You got black leopards. You got spotted leopards. You got jaguars. How about a jaguar? Have you heard the growl of a jaguar? All the way down more and more and more to our house pets. Our house pets who sit in our lap, and we hold them, we pet them, 
We play with them. Are cats amazing or what? Is Jesus amazing or what? Amen.